and send in your emails to ue.com.au. Click on the drive line button and send in anything you want. Uh, we've been shocked and surprised over the last couple of days uh, about what the government has been able to do with dormant accounts. If you've got money sitting in an account, the government can swoop in and grab it. It used to be if it was dormant for five years. Now it's only three years. And it's only when you go in there to try and find your money that you find out it is not there and you've got to get it back. So if the banks don't slowly dwindle it away on fees, the government uh, can make sure that it gets taken. But in the papers today, you'll see the faces of David Koch, Buddy Franklin and others who have had money taken from a dormant account or have money in a dormant account. Now, how do we know this? Because the information is just sitting there on a website about people like Buddy Franklin, about people like David Koch, their information, your information. Now, that's good if you want to go and try and find it. Not good if you don't want other people to have a look at your details, including dodgy companies that look up your name and then contact you and offer to retrieve that money for a fee. This is an appalling problem with privacy. When every company that we try to deal with, like uh, banks and insurance companies, they want you to prove who you are over and over and over again. And even when you prove who you are, sometimes they still don't believe you. But we get from our own government, first they take the money... And then they post all your details on the internet so every scammer and every dodgy company can see. And here is the really silly bit. The government knows how to find you. If they find that you've got money sitting in a dormant account, they can ring you up. They can track you down. They can send you a letter and say, hey, you've only got one week left and we are legally able to take this money and we're going to take this money and stick it away in account. Would you like to... Do something about it. Would you like to uh, activate the account? Would you like us not to take the money? What would you like? And you know how we know how they know where to find us? Because they can put us on a bloody website. It is stupid. It, it's ridiculous. Coming up later on, I'll talk to a woman. Her and her husband had about $20,000 sitting in a bank account. They had it there for what they call a rainy day. They decided that they needed it. They needed to pay a few bills. Went there, nothing. Zero. Gone. So they contact ASIC to see if they can get their money back. And while they're doing this, a group writes them a letter saying, hey, look, we'll get your money back. We we can get your money back if you like, but it will cost you uh, about $1,000 to do it. Where if you go through ASIC, it should cost you absolutely nothing. Now, there are some people in this world, not particularly gullible, but some people who believe, oh, okay, well, this company's doing the right thing. I do need to get that money back. They panic a little bit. They take on a company like that, cost them $1,000 just to get their own money back from the government. The whole thing is, not only is it a bit stupid, but it, it is a shocking invasion of privacy. I just can't believe the way privacy laws have changed in the last few years. I just can't believe that we allow it. (laughs) 